Hello, and welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. Actually, it's Psychic Medium Tony G. I changed the name for um, my WSCS TV show so that uh, they're, they're kind of a combined name now. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Anyway, welcome to the show. It is Monday, April 12th. Yes. And there was a full uh, new moon, <laughs> a new moon yesterday. So this is a great time to start manifesting what you want in life. Um, so you can bring it to you, which I think People underestimate the amount of, I want to say, responsibility they have for their own life and where their own life is. They really underestimate the amount of um, power their thoughts and their abilities have and where they're going and what, what they're doing with that. They really under underestimate that um, and they underestimate the power especially of their repetitive thoughts you know I, I read a post on Facebook and several people have posted it and so I don't know who actually gets the original credit from it but it said it's easier to fool someone than to convince them they've been fooled <clears throat> I think part of the reason for that is because we, we're so afraid to be wrong. We're, te we're terrified that we were wrong. How could we be wrong? Like, I, I, of course, that goes to ego, but that also goes to fear, which is, yeah, ego. But the bottom line is, if we're so afraid to be wrong, if we're so afraid that our thought or our belief was wrong, how can we change our life? How can we take what's not working and make it work? How can we, at some point, tur turn things around, right? Because if we're so set that we're always correct and we are never wrong, <clears throat> then we, we are going to keep doing the same thing we've always done and we're going to end up in the same place we've always ended up and we are going to repeat the same patterns we've always repeated. And not for lack of maybe wanting something different, but for lack of just being able to admit even to ourselves, that we made a bad choice, a bad choice in a lover, partner, job, um, what, 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 financial choice, whatever it is for each and every one of us. Now, he here's where it gets interesting, because if we can admit this isn't the best choice for me, in that moment, the universe will say, finally, yay, finally, you, you're realizing there's something better for you. Okay, you don't even have to say, I all out messed up making this choice. You can just say, this isn't the best choice for me. And in being able to say, this isn't the best choice, choice for me, you are instantly calling on all the powers that be in your life, whether you believe in your higher self, angels, guides, God, uh, loved ones on the other side, you are calling on all of that instantly to show you a new way, to show you to put in front of you what's better than you're already in. So, okay, so let's let's look at this. You're in a 
let's use job because I always use relationship. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, Genevieve. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. I, I'm really grateful for that. Um, sorry about my phone. If it dings, I use uh, my phone for the switchboard. So, so if we say, you know, I'm in this relation. Uh, oh, job. We're doing job, not relationship. Okay. So if we say, uh, this isn't the best job for me. I could be in a better job. Instantly, all the powers that be, whether you believe in them or not, will start showing you little, little uh, signs, synchronicities of a new job, a new path, a new place, even a new business for yourself. That's just the way the world works. We were not put here to, the word they're using is concede. We were put here to achieve, to create and to co-create and to be in that space where we are making a life that we love, okay? Just seriously, just creating a life that we 100% love and want to wake up to every morning. So in doing that, um, we have to take, a, if, if we're not in a situation that we absolutely love, we have to take a little bit of responsibility for that and say, we don't, and again, it's not about saying I'm wrong. It's, it, it, there is no right or wrong. There's just a choice that you have made until you change your mind about that choice. And there are um, circumstances that go with that choice, good, bad, or indifferent. That's it. Uh, we, we put so much stock in the fact that we can't be wrong. We put so much stock in the fact that we cannot have made a mistake. Okay. So don't say you made a mistake. Don't say you're wrong. Just get up and do it differently the next day or in the middle of the day, get up and do it differently. It's, it really, it really is kind of that easy because you're not, admitting it to anybody else it's just the way the universe works and that it's just that simple it really is that simple it really is that innocently profound that's really what it is innocently profound now if we're talking about a career choice or a job the more you put the power into there's got to be something better out there, the more they're going to show you, uh, maybe through other people talking about how much they love their job, maybe through other people sharing with you availability in other areas, maybe somebody coming up to you and talking to you about um, a business they started or an invention they have. Any one of these things will spark something inside of you that says, I could do that. That's for me. If you're talking about a relationship, you know, matters of the heart can be complicated. But at the end of the day, you really have to consider your heart. Are you happier? Are you happy in this? Are you not happy in this? Are you um are is it a balanced thing are you as in love with this person as they are with you um and there there are so many aspects but the but the bottom line is if if you want better it's available it is and, and that is the whole thing that is pretty much everything about it um once you understand you're truly creating the life that you have and the life that you're living, good, bad, or indifferent, some people find that insulting in a way, that that can't be true, but it's so empowering because if you are creating this life, 
then absolutely nothing is stopping you from having it be better. Nothing, absolutely nothing is in the way of you creating a much stronger, much more powerful life that you want with the exception of negative emotions like guilt and fear. And just move on. Just get into the next thing. Just do the next thing. And you don't have to do everything all at once. You can do it one at a time, one baby step at a time. And you'll get where you want to be. Okay. I Thank you, Benjamin. I'm going to go to callers now. If you would like to call in, if you have a question and you would like to call in, I would, I'm going to give you the call in number. It's 845-277-9131. And I'm going to take the first caller whose area code, dun, 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 come on button, click. There we go. 678. Hello. How are you? Okay, and if you're on speakerphone, hey, Kathy, if you're on speakerphone, please go off of speakerphone while we're on the air because all that background noise gets picked up and it sounds horrible on the TV show. So um, go off of speakerphone and I'll be happy to take your question. Okay, um, can you hear me better? Yeah, so much better. Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, I am calling concerning, um, um, job opportunities. I'm waiting to hear from a company that I would like to, um, get an offer from. Their headquarters is in the Midwest, i sorry, the Pacific West, um, and I live in the Georgia area, so I'll be working in Georgia, um. That's a senior level role. So what do you see around it? Um, okay, here's what I'm getting. I'm getting that you are going to get an offer, but it might not be the exact offer that you're expecting. Um, I feel like there's going to be, there's, there's definitely going to be an offer coming in. I don't think it's going to come as quickly as you would like it to come. And it's definitely not going to be exactly what you want. Now, here's what I'm going to say next. Negotiate like a man. Now, don't be offended by that, please. <laughs> please don't be offended by that. Um, companies, especially bigger corporations, sometimes think women will not be as aggressive in their negotiations for what they want. And that women sometimes um, don't need as much as a man does. And this is all back from thinking and business operations from like in the 50s, let's just say, archaic thinking. <laughs> um, so don't be nervous to aggressively and politely negotiate this aggressively doesn't mean saying listen this is exactly what i want aggressively means putting on the table in a very um politically i don't know what word to use in a very good way putting on the table everything that you want now prior knowing this here's some beautiful things you can use to your advantage Prior to them getting back to you, start really figuring out the details of what you want in this package because there is a package and there are going to be things that you really do appreciate about the package they're going to offer you. However, I think if I'm getting it correctly and it's, it's always the bottom line, let me tell you something, it's always the bottom line. They'll bump up stock options. They'll make your health care package sound so good. And then they'll, they'll, they'll take a little bit off of that bottom line. <clears throat> but if you, if you really want a better bottom line, don't be afraid to 
overshoot what you want in a bottom line because they'll come back with a number. It's a negotiation. So please, right. when... Right, no, I, I... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, when they, when they come back with that, don't be nervous to say, don't be insulted, um, which I don't think you would... But also, don't be afraid to say, well, this is the minimum I would, this is the absolute minimum I would require or use the word need. Um, there's a difference between require and need. And they'll respect the negotiation process. Um, now, I'm going to ask a question that nobody ever asks when they're calling about a career change. They want to know if they're going to get the job. What I want to know is if this is the best possible job for you coming in. Okay. So this job has, and I don't know why they're telling me to ask this for you, but you know what? I just listen. What they're saying is this is a really good job opportunity, but in a month and a half, I get a month and a half and three months, there's going to be a, a, an opportunity shown to you that's going to be very good. So <clears throat> even if you get this opportunity, I want you to keep your eyes open. It's like that, that song, Thank You, Next. <laughs> and the reason they're saying this is because if you take this job opportunity, you'll be kind of done looking, kind of like, oh, I just settled into this, but in about a month and a half, there's an opportunity coming forward, and this opportunity is going to take you straight to the top, is what I'm hearing. It's up to you if you accept this opportunity. It's up to you if you keep looking or entertain any other offers. This is a good offer that's coming in, and... Um, they just want you to be aware there's an offer that's going to kind of piggyback this one that's going to be uh, maybe more in alignment with some of the things you want. Growth and potential are top of your list. You, you want to be able to make a lot of growth. You want to have that potential to hit those top rungs is what I'm hearing. The next opportunity that comes in is going to be one that allows that for you. So what you do moving forward, I know I just threw uh, a monkey wrench or whatever, some kind of wrench into this for you. I didn't. Um, they are letting you know you are going to have a lot of potential, a lot more potential with the next offer. And I, I do want to say, um, if you put in for more than one offer already and you haven't heard back from someone, there may have been like a little stall in their plans. It's not that they weren't thinking of you, but it may even be an offer that you've already put in for and they're just now moving forward with it. What, however this all comes about, entertain all the desserts on the table is the way they're saying it. Entertain all of the desserts on the table. Whatever comes to you, whatever you hear about. And even if, if you get even if you decide to take this position, kind of keep your eyes open for something else because I feel like right behind this position is a position, <laughs> That's going to uh, kind of, th they're using the statement, blow your socks off. Okay. Okay. Um, could it be the same company with the two offers? When you said, can it be the same company? Is it the same company? No, 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 it's not. I don't feel like it okay. is. If it, if it ends up being the same company, that would be interesting, but I'm not, they're, they're giving me a solid no on that. I feel like it's a different company and I feel like it is, same company, different location. Nope. 
It's a completely different company. Yep, it's a completely different company. Um, I, I feel like it's a completely different company. But now again, it's up to you if you even entertain um, another offer. It's up to you if you even look. Maybe you, you get this offer. You're like, this is perfect. I'm good. Um, I do feel like, however, something else is going to come and it, it's going to come right behind this one. It's going to piggyback. It's, it's, it's right on the heels of this one. So I, I just want to say, if you're interested, if you're keep your eyes open and your ears open, because I do feel like something else has the potential to come in that will really um, kind of knock your socks off and make you happy, or happier, happier. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Kathy. Thank okay. you so and this much. This is within a month's time, right? I'm sorry. This I'm... is within a month's time that a this will occur. About a month and a half. About six. That six month week and period. A half. Okay. A month and a half. Um. And I think, and I'm going to tell you something, um, I normally, this is something that I'm being guided to say for you. Um, so there's a reason they want me to share this with you. Whatever that reason is, I'm not really sure. All I can say is it'll be up to you when the time comes. Maybe you get into this new position or uh, maybe the money isn't enough for everything they're asking. Whatever happens, don't be discouraged. Just know this other position is right there. It's going to be right there. Now, time is fluid. And when I say a month and a half, sometimes it's a little bit before. Sometimes it's a little later. But And sometimes it's right to the day. I do feel like this is coming in. Okay. One way or another, this next opportunity is going to come in, whether it's something you you previously reached out for or something somebody tells you about or something you see. I do feel like you're going to be uh, hearing or seeing this offer someplace. And it, it's really going to make you... Um, reevaluate everything and where you are. So, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Now I'm going to say, um, typically I start the show with a clearing and the clearing I want to start with today is abundance. Um, I'm going to clear everybody that we get the abundance we want, we need, and we don't think about. Oh, yeah. So let's start that clearing right now. So we always get the abundance that we need for most of us. We're It's always coming in. Um and then the abundance that we want should be flowing to us freely and easily at all times. I'm going to tell you, there is an abundance level that we don't even think about. Most of us don't think about it. Now, abundance isn't only money. Although most people, when they think of abundance, they think of finances, wealth, money. That's part of this. The other part of this is the abundance in the life that you love, the abundance in the career and the career opportunities coming in, oh, the abundance in the love of a partnership. These are really important abundances also. And there are many others, but I'm just speaking to these right now. Um, and this last caller uh you know, we get this one offer and we put so much on it because we think there's a scarcity in opportunities for employment or money or even lovers. I don't I don't mean lovers like, you know, hooking up in a park like puppies. I don't mean that. I mean, real love, because if it's not real love, it's not 
it's just going through the motions. It's icky. It's like a bad job. Um, so this abundance, um, and it, oh, I'm sorry, wait, if you're hooking up in a park like puppies, please don't be offended. Do what you do you that just for me, that's not me. And unless I'm with somebody I love then maybe I'll hook up in a park. Like, okay, let's just stop that bad hole. <laughs> Let's just stop. We're going st to I'm, I'm not justifying any more of my statements because it just takes me further down the path. Like I, I try to explain <laughs> that, <laughs> that I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody. And I end up in this weird place, a little embarrassed. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so here we go. Let me <laughs> get back on track. Abundance. And, and for even those things we don't think about that 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 intense or that abundance that is offers coming in that you wouldn't have even thought about um but meaningful meaningful offers let me put it that way that's a beautiful way to put it meaningful offers that are um noteworthy that are going to go someplace and mean something and be something Okay, that's what's very much what we want. Those are the offers. That's the abundance that matters. Hi, hi, Joshua. I hope you're having an amazing day. <laughs> but everyone, I can't read all of your comment. I, I think I'm actually going to come over here and read this comment. I'm going to pull my screen over just a bit, but everyone loves puppies. Yes, <laughs> Joshua, you are not wrong. So, okay, for everybody on the TV show watching on WSCS, I'm, um, I'm live streaming on um, YouTube. So if you want to watch the live stream, I do that every Monday at noon and you can join in with the comments or call in the number is 845-277-9131 if you have a question that you would like to ask if you would like to um connect with a loved one on the other side you can uh call in and do that i'm gonna go to the the next caller i'm gonna take is 831 hello 831 how are you today Hi, I'm doing okay, thank you. I'm doing so many things on my mind because there are a lot of things I almost don't know which uh, one question to ask. Um, so maybe could I get a, and they all have to do with relationships, uh, you know, siblings, friends. Um, I, I feel like I'm undergoing a, a really big change in my life. Okay, 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 and, okay, um, okay, okay. Wait, wait one second, and, please. Um, if you're on a car phone, or speaker phone, please uh, get off of that because you sound a little bit muffled. Sorry, okay. That's I'm okay. Off. And then let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Let's hone it down okay. to one question because unfortunately it's only a 30 minute show. So I, I kind of need the question and then I'll give you all the information I can give you from that. Okay, love? Okay. 